This is a copy of Dynamite Decca for the Sega Saturn, also known as Die Hard Arcade here in North America. I only have the loose disc, I sadly don't have the case. Shit is expensive. And then it got a sequel, Dynamite Decca 2, but released in North America as Dynamite Cop because they no longer had the Die Hard license. Let's start off with Dynamite Decca. This is a 3D brawler and uh, you're going through like a skyscraper very much akin to Die Hard. Like they really tried to make the character look like Bruce Willis. And you know what, I gotta say, this game has a very surprisingly, surprisingly deep combat system. Like I don't say, I'm not gonna say it's like super deep. Most of all, the grappling system. The grapple system, you can like start off a grapple and end it in like various different ways. You can give a guy a suplex, you can take him to the ground, give him the ground and pound. I had a lot of fun figuring this stuff out. Check out this kick. Like other 3D brawlers too, this one seems to have like a larger emphasis on weapons and items that are dropped in the environment. There's stuff all over the floor that you can pick up and use. It's kind of hilarious. But what's really odd is like one of the best weapons in the game is the handgun. Just like the default regular old handgun. And the reason why it's so good is you can basically instantly eliminate an enemy by grabbing them when you have the handgun equipped because you like handcuff them and subdue them. All of this gameplay that you're seeing I captured on my Sega Saturn through RGB on my Frame Meister and it looks like it doesn't look good, but it looks pretty fantastic. <laughs> this is like the old school way of doing 3D graphics. This is 1996, okay? It's like 3D polygons with just textures mapped onto it. It's not elegant, but that's what that's what early 3D was like. It worked. So you're working your way through the skyscraper and, and like the final boss, I guess. He's got he's got the president's daughter. He's got the president's daughter, but I guess he must have lost her at some point because He's all, where's the president's daughter? Find the president's daughter. I don't care about the swamp members. Where is the president's daughter? Find her. What is that a hiding spot, dude? What is she doing there? And I like how the guy at the beginning in the helicopter is kind of giving you like your mission briefing. All these dirty hostages inside, including the president's daughter. I repeat, they have the president's daughter in there. And the president's daughter has been kidnapped. Find the president's daughter. He's so nonchalant about it. It's like, it's like just another day at the office. President's daughter's yeah, she's kidnapped again. This game also has like these quick time events that have you reacting and you can either fail or you can succeed. Very hard to do in the Japanese version if you don't read or speak Japanese. I like how there's just like this regular girl in the hallway and you just, you just clothesline the shit out of her. I don't even think she was an enemy. Why, why are we fighting firefighters? Are they, are they corrupted? Are they corrupted firefighters? I really don't understand. I thought they were on our side. This game's also got this really weird thing of like cutting away after a cutscene way too quickly. It'll like load into a cutscene. That cutscene will be like a second and a half long, and then it'll cut away and you're loading again. Where is that girl? Just find her. That's how you know. That's how you know that this is a port from the arcades. They kept those cutscenes brief as hell. They wanted to get your cash and get you the hell out of there. And then there's the sequel, Dynamite Decca 2, aka Dynamite Cop. And this one was released on the Sega Dreamcast. It's a lot like the first game, it's a lot like Dynamite Decca, except it's like 10 times crazier. And not just crazier, but there's like more options and stuff. There's selectable characters. I had to pick, I had to pick my boy Bruno because he's got a, he's got a monkey for some reason. Like why the hell does he have a monkey? And then the ultimate bait and switch, you pick Bruno and then once you're in the game, there's no monkey at all. There's no monkey to be found. After playing the first game, I was pretty kind of familiar with the combat. It feels very, very similar. And the one thing I wanted to go and check right away is how's the grappling system? Did they keep the grappling system the same? And I'm happy to say they kept the grappling system and it's even crazier. The amount of grapples you can do in this game. Why are there so many grapples? Quit breaking this dude's limbs! It's so savage! And now when your character takes damage, you lose more and more clothing for some reason. <laughs> Fighting all super sexy, it's awesome. So this time around, instead of it taking place inside of a skyscraper, these, these like pirates, these modern day pirates, have taken this cruise ship hostage and all of the 2,000 people on board. Hurry up with that bomb! And of course, and of course, the president's daughter. She got kidnapped again. What is with these people and the president's daughter? Where is she hiding this time? And where is that girl? Find her and bring her. 
bring her to me. Are you serious? How how did you even get yourself into that luggage? How did you zip it up? How did you get yourself into this situation? I don't understand. They also got really carried away with some of the enemy designs. You can tell. You can tell they were having fun when designing this game, all right? Some of the enemy designs are super, like, super nautical, right? Because they're pirates, I guess. Like, you got guys dressed up as crabs. You got dudes dressed up as sharks. These henchmen, man, they are... They are committed. And the final boss, the final boss himself, he's got like, he's got like bones on him. He, he changed his body. I've been expecting you. I have changed my body to destroy you. And then of course, we need to talk about the best boss fight in the game. Dare I say the best boss fight in the series? We gotta talk about the Kraken. Does, does the Kraken fight with the pirates? Are the pirates controlling the Kraken? Did they unleash the Kraken? The quick time events are back. They're admittedly quite a bit easier playing in English. But the game also does that thing of cutting away after the cutscene way too quickly. Again, you can tell this is an arcade port, like at the very end of the game. Thank you for saving my life again. Are you serious? That ending though. But you know what, all in all, I will say I think the sequel is better than the first game. I actually had a lot of fun playing Dynamite Cop. Like look, both both Dynamite Decca and Dynamite Decca 2, they're not they're not good games, alright? They're not. I'm not gonna pretend like these are masterpieces. But they are definitely fun to just pick up and play for like an afternoon. And there's nothing wrong with that. The Dreamcast was of course released back in 1999, and it is 2019. We are approaching the 20th anniversary of the Dreamcast coming out here in North America. So I do want to cover and play some more Dreamcast games. Let me know what you guys would like to see. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.